Hi everyone, my name is Nikki and we are at Aroma G's Botanica located at 223 Donaldson Pike in Nashville, Tennessee. Today we are back in the spirit room and we are talking about the Arisha statues up here. Today we're going to talk about Yemaya, who is a personal favorite of mine and who I work with very closely. She is, as you can see, represented um, as a mermaid, also very similar to a Mother Mary vibe. What she is mainly known for is the goddess of the sea. Her main attributes are nurturing. She washes away all negativity and moves all like bad vibes from you. She also brings in a ton of abundance and love to you. She's more of a passive Orisha, meaning like her forces aren't very active. She's not a very aggressive one, but when she comes through, she comes in hot. When you want to work with her is like if you have any heavy cleansings in your life or you need to kind of go back into the water uh, aspect into your life when you need more intuitive powers, you need to help with the household. If there's things that are kind of chaotic, you need to bring peace and calm. She's really good at bringing peace into the home, cleansing away bad energy, and bringing love into your life. True, like, self-love and uh, unconditional love, which is a really good time for the world right now. Uh, if you guys want to learn more about her, this is an amazing book by Raven Morgan called Yamaya, Orisha Goddess and Queen of the Sea. She is just, this book has all like spells, altars, rituals to kind of connect with her. Um, if you are somebody that is connected to the water, you like water energy like myself or even a water sign, I highly recommend checking out Yamaya. She is all about the sea, all about the ocean, all about cleansing and bringing in those loving vibes into your life.